Ask the Joke Doctor is brought to you by Breaking Comedy's DNA, the quintessential comedy writing system that actually demystifies comedy. Check the description box below for the link to purchase Breaking Comedy's DNA and become a funnier comedy writer or comedian today. Hi, Jerry Corley here, StandUpComedyClinic.com, with a, another episode of Ask the Joke Doctor. In this episode, we're actually going to do a tweet. I've got a tweet from uh, one of my uh, followers on Twitter. Um, by the way, if you want some questions answered um, and you have some sort of nagging questions, hit me up on Twitter at, uh, as, at, at Joke Doctor. Uh, you'll see the, um, the Twitter handle in the description and uh, just uh, give me a holler and uh, always hashtag it uh, with ask, ask the joke doctor. Um, but in this video, we're covering a question I get a lot. And that question is, how do I organize my material? This came from my, uh, mi hermano uh, la, uh, de comedia. That's my Spanish right there. In uh, He's in Mexico. Uh, it's like uh, my brother in comedy, uh, Hector. And Hector uh, writes, hi, Joke Doctor. How do you organize everything you write? Regards from Mexico. Uh, Hector, uh, this is one of this question I get a lot. A lot of people like when you start putting it together and you have an abundance of material, uh, you need a way to organize it. And I have a couple of different ways I use. But one of the simplest techniques is I try to organize it in a fashion where I can easily access it based on keywords. Okay, so here I am on, this is a master list. This is like a sample master list that I use. I have pages of, of my keywords or what I would title my jokes. Uh, so these are the same sort of like phrases I might use when I put together a set list. You know, you have a set list of the jokes you're gonna do that night. It's just keyword, 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 keyword. Basically, these are the same keywords I would use to identify a bit, a joke, a routine. Um, so, and this could be done, this technique can be done using individual jokes, bits of multiple jokes, uh, so I can uh, keep it organized. Now, this is a t simple table done on Google Docs. Um, now, here's what I do. It's like once I have that bit, say I write the bit out. So, and the bit could be written out either by me writing it out or uh, sort of saying it out loud and transcribing it. So now I have, a, I can take a transcription of that bit, put it on a document by itself. So the document might be like, for example, um, this simple joke right here. So I have this joke. It said, I remember I dated this gal. When we first met, she was wearing this deep scoop top, had huge boobs and was wearing a crucifix. And she was like, that was like sending a mixed message, isn't it? It's like, man, I'll tear you up in the bedroom, God willing. So that particular bit is just gonna go as a single joke on a page and don't be afraid to just make your single jokes individual. It's almost like three by five cards, you know, but this way you have, you can easily search them. So then um, I would basically take that bit. So this bit is now titled big boobs crucifix. And if you want to learn how to do this, like in a shortcut, you put it on the page foot first, right? You put big boobs crucifix, and then you'd click over here in the title and whatever you have up here in this area, right here as you're on the page will automatically default into your title. So you can save yourself some extra typing. Um, so, and then I write down the draft, the entire draft of the joke, because there's going to be times down the line, you're going to go back and look at these keyword titles and go, what the hell was that joke? And you won't be able to remember it, but then you could just click it. It'll open up the full draft of the joke and you go, Oh, I've been forgetting to do this part here, especially if it's a long bit. So, and then once you have this thing written, Google automatically gives it a link, right? And the link is up here in your URL window. It's basically, it's a, you know, that's the uh, sort of what, it's almost like the how you would dial in a website. So you highlight that by just left click, just a left click, or, or you can even like, sometimes you have to, if you're in there first time, like once you get in the first time, if I'm on the page, like if the cursor's on the page and then I go up to the URL window, now I'm going to left click it. It's going to highlight the whole thing. Now I'll right click 
and I'll click copy, or you can hit control C. And once I have that in the, in my clipboard, then I can go back over to my master list. Once I'm on my last master list, I'm going to put mixed messages or big boobs crucifix. That's going to be the title. That's what I called it, right? Oh, big boobs crucifix. And that's the title that helps me to remember that joke. I mean, it's got a bit of the uh, necessary information, crucifix, if I could talk and spell at the same time. We got Big Boobs Crucifix. Now I'm going to highlight this and go up here. Right here you have the link, the hyperlink. I'm going to click the hyperlink. And in here, I'm going to take that link from the draft of that document and paste it. Then I just click Apply. And that's taken care of. Now, uh, I usually just reset this page. I'll refresh this page, my master list here sample. And now if I go take a look at my jokes, if I'm putting together an act, I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my jokes and I go, Big Boobs Crucifix. Here's that, uh, that what is that joke? And now I'm going to click it and it's going to take me over to that document. And the whole thing is right there. And the beautiful thing about this is this is stored in Google Docs. It's stored in the cloud. Now, Google, like any other cloud-based system, has redundancy, right? So they've got cloud servers all over the world. And everything you put up in Google is basically um, copied in redundant form and stored on each server around the world. So if I was in Japan or if I was in Australia and I needed to access my Google Docs, it's going to access the server that's closest to that region. So it's, it's not going to access a server that's all the way in, in California. So that it just speeds up the process. And that's how that sort of thing works, is you have that cloud-based system that has, your, that has all, your, all the stuff you've stored on Google Docs stored in redundant servers around the world. So odds of you losing this are slim. Very, very slim. Odds of a hard drive crashing are much greater. I mean, I've had four hard drives crash in my career that have just wiped out uh, lots of data and lots of material. So this is that's one of the best ways to uh, store your jokes, to walk through that again. Like I have the master list. It's just table. It's a, you know, we can do a table. Let me do it with a blank sheet, show you how that works. So if I was going to create a table, and I, I love to work with just two columns. So if we if we go in here and say um, joke list, and I'm going to say insert table, I'm going to put two columns. And what I do then, once I have those two columns and I start putting the key names of the jokes, say Wells Fargo, um, maybe over here we do the big boobs crucifix, Leave it to comics. We have always have the weirdest names for our uh, set list. Uh, and I'll put crucifix here. Then I'm just going to hit the tab button with my pinky. Basically hit that tab. And that's what gives me more rows. And that's how you build a table. Quick table in there. Now each one, I'll put, my, put the keywords for every one of my jokes based on the drafts I've already written for those jokes. Like if I have Girlfriend's Eyes of Eternity. And uh, there's a very short joke. It's like I looked at my girlfriend's eyes and said, it's like looking into the eyes of eternity. And she said, that probably means you're going to die soon. And uh, nice ambivalent style jokes. Then I'm going to go to my joke list. I'm going to take that title. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to go back over to that girlfriend, uh, eyes of eternity. And then I'm going to go up here to the URL window. Left click, it highlights. Right click, copy. Back over to that list. Highlight this because we're going to hyperlink it. We're going to hyperlink it to that particular document. Put in here the link to that. I'm going to click apply. Now that is linked to that particular draft of material. So that every piece of material that I write, um, if, it, if it's in my head, I get it on the page. When I get it on the page, it's in a draft form. It's in a full printed out draft form on Google Docs. Then I create the sheet that takes all the titles of each one of those jokes, every label, every keyword, or like a set list key keyword for that joke. And 
then I'll take that, I'll put it into the table, then I'll hyperlink it to that particular document, just like this. And then we have these two things are linked back over to the joke list. And you can see if I hit that, it's going to open it up. I can look at that preview. I can open a preview of it. And there it is, right? Or it will take me to the whole document like that. And we, so everything is organized and it's all in the cloud and you can access it by your keywords. The important part of this is, this is where the discipline comes in. You know, and a lot of us comedians, we don't have discipline. We're all a bunch of ADD uh, people. You know, we've got like ideas that are con constantly spinning in our brains. But if you get disciplined at your organization, it makes it so much easier as you move forward. You can access anything. So this is a the simplest way to organize your material is to create a table on Google Docs and take each one of your jokes and make sure they're in draft form on a separate document, and each of those documents is titled, then you could take the links from each of those documents for every one of those bits, put them in a keyword, just like a table of contents, in a table like this on the same Google Docs, bring up your joke master list, and then just click it. It'll take you right to that draft, all right, right to that draft of material, you know, of, say, girlfriend Instagram, all right? It's like... um. I have five kids. My oldest is 26. My girlfriend's 25. Just kidding. I don't have a 25-year-old girlfriend. She's 24. And not that I'm into that or anything. I just need someone to help me with Instagram. And then I do have an extension to that. It's like, uh, it's like I, I, you know, I didn't even know Instagram was social media. I had no idea. This is how clueless I am. I thought Instagram. I said, how do these guys know the name of a, the, the, or the Coke dealer in our neighborhood? Uh, that kind of thing. It's like, because it could be that could be the name of the coke dealer, right? Some people he was. Some people have had their coke dealer or their drug dealer was called the Candy Man, the Happy Man. Ours was called the Instagram, because you know he always got it to you like Domino's, thirty minutes or less. So anyway, that's um, quick sample, right, of how to organize your material. And so Hector in uh, Mexico, I hope this is helpful, bro. And uh, notice I said bro. See my comedy, bro in Mexico. So um, uh, just a little thing. I hope this brought value to your day and um, it helps you to be more efficient in your joke writing. I will talk to you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. In the meantime, remember, uh, if you have any questions about comedy, comedy writing, you can hit me up on Twitter at uh, my handle is at joke doctor and hit it with the hashtag of ask the joke doctor. And if you enjoy the videos you see here, um, feel free to subscribe. And um, you're going to see that bell that shows up right to the right of that. Hit that bell, and that way you get the reminders when I upload new videos. Bye-bye.